Today we are going to talk about bar graphs. You're going to read and interpret data in a scaled bar graph. Please read what a bar graph is. A bar graph uses bar to show data. A scale of equally spaced numbers helps you read the number each bar shows. The student in a reading room made a bar graph to record the number of books they read in October. How many books it says read? Okay, before we answer this question, the blue box says to underline the words that tell you where to find the information. Where are we going to find the information? Aubrey? The bar graph. So underline bar graph in your problem. says that's worth one point. Okay, then let's talk about this bar graph before we start. We have a title. Everybody write an uh, arrow to title please. The title tells what the bar graph is about. Okay, then you have each bar is labeled with student's name. Here are your labels. Okay, all those are your labels. Now you don't, well, if you want, if you want to do that and you want to do that, let's do it better. This is the labels, okay? Make that little thing. Okay, and you also have this, which is labeled students, because that's what it, we are doing, okay? We are labeling students, because that's the students' name. Then you have the length of a bar that tells how many books you read. So the lengths are going this way. There is a scale. The scale are the numbers. Please make an arrow to the numbers. The scale is the numbers. And the scale is going from 0 to 16 and it's counting by twos. Not always will it count by twos. Sometimes you might count by tens, sometimes you might count by fives, sometimes you might count by threes. Or one. So you always have to see, they might count by ones. You always have to see how the scale is being counted by, okay? Now, to work out this problem, find the bar graph for set. It's the what color one? Red. Yummy. Green. Green. It ends at what number? Eight. Eight. So let's write that. It ends at eight. So Seth read how many books in October? Eight. Eight. All right, now let's answer some more questions about this graph. How many books did Max read? Six. Six. Let's not shout it out. Let's raise our hands. Carter? Six. Six. Who read four fewer books than Katie? Now, if you don't know this, this is where you now need to probably write. How much did Katie read? Well, and then Seth had eight. Amy has how many? Let's talk about Amy. Amy's is right in the middle. So it's probably what number three is going to be about. But we'll kind of talk about it ahead of time. Amy's is in the middle of six and eight. What number is between six and eight, everybody? Seven. Seven. And then Max read six. Eight and ten. Yeah? Oh, yes, it's, I'm sorry. It's in between 8 and 10. Okay, 
I'm sorry. Yes, it is in between 8 and 10. I, my eyes were deceiving me. So what is between 8 and 10? Nine. Nine. Okay. Now, who read four fewer books than Katie? Looking at these numbers, what's 12 minus 4? Everybody? Eight. So who read uh, four fewer than? Seven. Okay, right, set. Now, number three, like I said, is probably going to be about Amy. Amy read five, or, oh, what if Amy read five more books? How many books would, did Amy read? Shade the graph to show how many she would read. So, if she read five more books, how much would that be? She has how many right now? Oh, No, how much does Amy have right now? Everybody? Nine. Okay, what's nine more than five? Fourteen. Fourteen. So we need to make our graph go to fourteen. Now you are going to have to go make it to fourteen. You have to color it in now. You're making the bar farther. With our pencils? With your pencils, yep. Nope, with, the, with your pencil. Did you erase our numbers? Yeah. Or you can just color it over it. And then how many books would she have read? Fourteen. Okay, and I forgot labels on these, so fourteen what? Books. Books. And then, um, we don't have to make a label for a set, but number one says how many books did Max read, so we need six what? Books. Make sure you always have your labels. Turn to your next page and you are done. Here are more examples. These bar graphs show the same data with set up, uh, with the same data, but not the same data we just did. It's just the same data together. Okay. However, the difference is, is this one is a horizontal bar graph, which we just did on the other page, isn't it? Okay, but then this one over here is a vertical bar graph. Okay, it goes up and down. But it still has the same stuff. You have the activities over here, but instead now the activities are on the bottom. You have the scale down here, but then the scale is going up. It's okay. Either one will work, okay? Now let's answer some questions. What does the space between the numbers represent? How's our scale going? What's it counting by? Titan? Counting by four. So what's the space between the four um, the numbers? They are what? Two. Well, it's not just two. It's uh, counting how many of what? There are a number of students, but what? How many students are between every number? Well, it's technically four because you're saying everyone. Um, so. This space from 8 to 12 is 4, okay? So what is the space between them? It's 4, or what? 4 numbers. No, not numbers. What's the? Space. Winter activity. No. Four spaces. Four what spaces. are the numbers representing, guys? Students. Oh, students. So it's 4 students. Now, why do you think the scale in the graph is going from 0 to 28 by 4s instead of 0 to 28 by 1s? Why would they do that? Super? Mm, I don't know. It's, it really makes it easy. Well, I mean, it makes it probably easier for them to draw, maybe. But it may not make it easier on you, but it's to make it, Allie. Well, they're not, if, if they went by ones, they'd be going even farther. If they went by ones, it would be way longer. Yeah, it'd be it way would take longer to make. Okay, it oh. would take longer to make, and then the, would we be able to fit this on our paper? No. No, it'd be too big. The graph would be too big. 
So why do you think they, the scale is 0 to 28 by 4? Um, the graph would be too big counting by 1. Okay, that wasn't the only question. The other question is, what other scale could you use? Instead of counting by fours, what other thing we, could we do? Well, you have to look at all the numbers first. Skating is how many? Everybody? 20. 20. Um, and then skiing. How, what is skiing? It is in between 12 and 16. What number is smack dab in the middle between 12 and 16? Everybody? 14. 14 is in between, right smack in the middle. Because you have 12 and 16, then you have 13, 14, and 15. And right in the middle of these two is 14. So 14. And then sledding is how many? Everybody? 24. And Hockey is in between 16 and 20, and what number is right in between 16 and 20, everyone? 18. 18. Okay, look what we could do. We have 20, 14, 24, and 18. Is there a number that can go into all of those? Yes, huh? Okay, what number? Can we get 6 with 14? Um, no, because 6 plus 6 is 12, and if you do another 6, that's not going to equal 14. And even if you split six and a half, that is then an odd number, and you can't get 14 with an odd number. So, by twos maybe? Can we do it by twos, guys? Yeah. Okay. also do it by We can do it by sevens. No, because 18 and 24 and 20 cannot equal seven. Seven cannot go into either. Twos is the answer. partners for the share and show.